hi guys welcome back to another tutorial it's a girl blessing and in this tutorial you'll be learning how to make this trending three in one hair bonnet okay so to start with we'll be needing all this fabric these are satin fabrics i have them in two different colors and our stretchy fabric it's a lacquer fabric okay so any material of your choice can be used but for this i'm using a satin fabric so i'll be folding this fabric into four okay you can see that this is already folded into two and i'll be folding into two again all right so i discovered that i was having excess fabric so i decided to say okay let me measure the exact um length i'll be needing then i will fold from that part okay this is just so um maximize or the or rather to minimize the use of excess um fabric okay to avoid um wastage so i folded 12.5 inches and another 12.5 inches so into four i have a length of 12.5 okay so i folded to the other side so that we can see the shorter part of the fabric while we are measuring okay so this is what you see me do so the next thing we want to do is to pin down then we'll go ahead to measure our 12.5 all around starting from the midpoint okay from where the taper the zero from the zero part of the taper you keep marking your 12.5 inches like so actually this is not a standard measurement if you want just to be um a bit bigger you can make it up to 14 or 15 inches okay but i think 12.5 is way okay so after measuring this round this is what we have then we are going to go ahead to cut it round like so so this is what we have after cutting i'm going to transfer to this other fabric okay so i went ahead to fold the other fabric into four just the way we did for the first fabric and i'll go ahead to cut it out just the same way okay so after cutting it out this is what we have for the two fabrics so i'm going to open up the fabric like so okay this is a perfect round circle so i'm going to place the other part of the fabric on it with the right side facing each other so the next thing we want to do now is to sew with half an inch all around the circle okay then we are going to be having a little opening okay i'm going to measure about two inches okay the two mark you see me have is going to be our opening for where we are going to turn over so I'll go ahead and sew round. After sewing it round to a half an inch, this is what we have. And I use matching thread for the both side. Okay, so you fix your thread with your matching thread for each of the fabric. Okay, any part, any one of the color can be on the upper part. Then the other one can be at the lower part. Just fix your thread to match the color of the fabric. Just so I want to sew the outside part, it will just match properly so that's our opening i'll go ahead and iron and to make it look neater and smooth so that our fabric can sit equally on each other so after ironing i'll go ahead and sew our opening then we'll go ahead to pleat this i will take to the sewing machine to show you how to achieve this okay so i'll be doing that from two inches you can make yours 1.5 you can make yours one depending on how you want to do it so right at the sewing machine i want to firstly close the opening we have so you fold in the allowance the sewing allowance we have initially you're going to fold it in then you top stitch okay so after top stitching this is what we have so the next thing we want to do now is to mark our two inches that we are going to be using to pleat okay we we'll mark it all around the pattern okay i'm using the colored part because i have the bones orange color at the upper part of the sewing machine and this will also help the chalk to to be visible on the fabric 
okay so i'll mark my two inches all around with my free hand like so then i will take it to the machine and i'll start pleating okay you see the way i've picked the fabric to pleat and this is how i'll keep picking it and pleat until i am done pleating all around okay so i'm just going to go ahead to increase the speed of this so that not to make our video too lengthy so guys if you are new to this channel i welcome you and um if you are a returning subscriber i am sincerely grateful for coming back okay for, to those of you that are new please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that each time i post a new video you will be the first to be notified all right so after putting it round this is what we've got all right you can see how beautiful the air bonnet is looking already wow so the next thing we want to do now is to go ahead and work on our stretchy fabric okay so i have about 16 inches here and um, unfold i measured about three inches for yours if you want yours to be more wider you can mark up to four inches okay i think four inches is fine as well but five might be too big but for me i measured three inches okay so this is what i have on fold and i'm going to fold it to the other way like this and sew with half an inch okay i'm going to join the two parts together like this so again i was sewing this it didn't sew i don't know so i had to sew i had to place paper on it to sew just let me know in the notification in the comment section rather how do you go about your stretchy fabric then that it sews properly on the machine let me know in the comment section what trick do you use to sew your stretchy fabric without using a paper so this this is how you pass it in okay and you place it just above the initial seam line okay place the stretchy fabric above the initial seam line okay because we are going to be sewing exactly on the line we already sew so you place it above it so that by the time we sew on that already sewn line it's going to fall perfectly by half an inch on the black fabric so place the black fabric just above the initial seam line then you turn the other way around like this just watch the way i am doing this and i'm very sure you'll get the same result so you place it just on the same seam line place your sewing machine just on the same seam line then you sew then as you are sewing you drag your fabric okay ensure you drag the stretchy fabric when you drag and sew by the time you release the fabric it's going to help the air bonnet to shrink together which will make it elastic that is the essence of using the stretchy fabric okay so ensure you sew on the exact same line because you don't want to have too many lines outside so this is how you keep sewing until you are done sewing all around you can see the allowance from this other part of the black fabric you can see that it is sewing just exactly with half an inch on the on the black fabric just because you place the black fabric above the already sewn same line so this is what it's supposed to look like by the time you do just the exact same thing i'm doing this is very easy you guys you can even do this to make money you can do as much as you can and sell to people you can do it for personal use you can even use this as a souvenir guys you can use this as a souvenir for any of your occasions it is very beautiful and stylish okay so this is what we have when we are done right 
you can see the same line is going to be covered by the time you open up the black fabric this is what you have for the first style when you turn inside out but the black fabric and the pleats will show if you think you have excess fabric inside you can just go ahead and trim off like so you can see what I have just done just trim off a little this is another style which is our second style then for the third one you put in your black material and we have just the pleat alone this is so easy and simple guys i hope you have learned something new today don't forget to give this video a giant thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video bye